Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be swatching a very special little package that I purchased. I think it was slightly before I went into hospital. They're um, watercolours made in Florence, Italy, handmade in Florence, Italy by a company called Zecchi. Um, now, Zeki have been in the business of crafting artist materials for 80 years and on their premises there has been a colour atelier at least going back as far as the 1700s. Um, I talked a little to uh, Massimo Zeki through um, email and he told me that he and his brother who... Um, own the company, use um, Senino D'Andrea Senini's um, crafting book as their Bible. Now, Senino was an artist that lived in Italy somewhere in the 15th century, and he created a crafter's manual for artist materials. And I have this little copy of the translation of his writings here, which I've had for so long and I love reading. I mean, it says here, for instance, he writes on the color of pigments, on the character of a red called le red lead, on the character of a red called dragon's blood, which I believe is one of the watercolors that I purchased. Um, on the character of a green called Terra Verde. So if anyone is a pigment buff, <laughs> which I am a little bit of a nerd when it comes to pigments, I highly recommend this book. It is so informative and it's really, really inspirational. But anyway, back to the paints. Um, this is the tiny bundle of paints that I bought. I'm going to open it for you. I um, confess to opening it just to check that my little, the little half pans will fit in this box, but I haven't done anything else. Um, I bought these 12 colours. And I will be putting them in my old and very, very battered Windsor & Newton metal palette that I've had for I think, over 15 years must be even longer. Um, I cleaned it up a bit. Just bring that down. I'll pause the video here so I can unwrap all the colours and I'll be back in a couple of minutes to do some swatching for you. I'm back. I've unboxed all my colours and put them in this little palette here. And I'll begin swatching for you. I've written the names on my little swatch card that I made last night. <laughs> and um, I have the names of each of the colors in the same order as I put them in my palette. So just to avoid any confusion. The way I am going to swatch the way I uh, prefer swatching is in mass tone and then diluted. So let's begin. First up, I have this Naples yellow, which is one color I use a lot in my work. It's looking very, very rich on my palette. Now, one, um, hmm, what kind of shape should I do? I think I'm going to do a circle. Wow. This 
is. Not your typical Naples yellow, is it? To be fair, it's called Naples yellow light. It's very, very pigmented. And also a lot deeper than other brands, deeper in colour. Dilute it now. And do a swatch underneath. Oh, that's so pretty. Such a pretty colour. I love soft yellows. That's why Naples yellow is one of my favourites to use. I don't like harsh yellows, like very um, in your face yellows. But I love that you can achieve both. Well, you can achieve like a very vivid yellow with this and a very, very soft yellow. Okay, next I have Scarlet Lake, which is another favourite of mine. Ooh, that looks very pretty on the palette. Let's see what it does on paper. Sorry, that was my glasses <laughs> bumping into the camera. Apologies. Wow. I think I'm gonna put some more because I don't think I picked up enough pigment. Oh dear, oh dear, Baloo's here. Hello Baloo. <laughs> Hello Baloo. No, do not jump onto the, please don't. Please, please, please don't. Okay, but I, one day, oh he's gone into his bed, thank God. One day, I will not have Baloo <laughs> crash the video. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am sorry. Oh, he's in his bed now. Lovely. Sorry, getting distracted from my task here, which is to swatch these beautiful colours. Oh, I like that. It's almost like a middle red. Not too cool, not too warm. Okay. Next. Have mineral blue which is a cool blue that's why I chose it because I wanted a cool blue and a warm blue if you hear jumping about that's blue oh okay so this is a called mineral blue it's a cool blue I'm going to put some more colour. That is very striking. And a diluted underneath. These paints Massimo told me are made from uh, with acacia honey, gum arabic and pure pigments and I think it shows because there's really effortless flow to them and they're not losing a lot of saturation those two at all, not at all um, they're almost dry which is brilliant um now next I have my warm blue which is a staple in possibly every artist's palette that I know of ultramarine blue oh that's beautiful 
That is very beautiful. Oh, I like that. And diluted underneath. is a lovely ultramarine blue. Next, I'm going to wipe my palette a little bit, make a bit of room to avoid mixing colours on my palette. Let's push that back. I have ultramarine green. Move this a little bit. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that is beautiful. I love how effortlessly these paints glide on the paper without losing any any colour. I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. You can feel the quality in these paints. You can feel that um, they're being made with a lot of care. That granulation on the ultramarine, it's almost like a blue moon. <laughs> it's beautiful. Next I have a, um, I don't know if I should actually say the word because <laughs> YouTube might not like it, but I am going to say it because that's what it's called. Hooker's Green. Oh, wow. That is looking so pretty on the palette. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna have to wait and see it dry to you know declare before I declare undying love but that is oh my goodness that is gorgeous okay and diluted if you see a little bit of white on my paper that is not the paint's fault I think this particular piece of paper, the sizing is a little bit off. I keep get. I think my my um my brush needs cleaning from all the previous debris on it. it keeps picking up little bits here and there. I, oh, I, I have to wait and see. I'm not going to start getting overly excited. No, I'm going to wait and see when it dries. Okay, next I have green earth. But Lou's thankfully sleeping at my feet, so yay. Oh, let's see this. Let's just bring this a little bit. To the left. That's a very deep, earthy green. I can't wait to try and mix this. 
can see the granulation happening as I'm applying the paint. It's almost a grey green. And next I have Dragon's Blood. That sounds so magical. <laughs> beautiful. I love good earth colours. This oh that is so pretty. That is so pretty. I'm gonna dilute that. Look at that soft orangey pink. My eye keeps going back to that hooker's green and my goodness, it's staying as bright, vibrant and saturated and alive as I just, as I first applied it. Okay. Oh contain myself. Next I have Burnt Sienna. That's almost becoming more vibrant as it dries. This is a very earthy burnt sienna. I've, I've known burnt sienna to be quite orangey, but this is a very earthy burnt sienna. It's quite similar to Dragon's Bird. Well, no, not really. That's pinker. This is almost browner at first sight. That is so pretty as well. That very warm, almost pink. I have burnt umber. As you can see, I like my uh, earth colours. That's nice. I should have put more water. My bad. Almost went in with full pigment brush. That's very, very nice as well. I'd like to experiment making some greys with that. I think that mixed with um, some blues would make some really nice greys. Um, next I have Caput Mortum. I think that's how we pronounce it. Yeah, um, should we pronounce it like that? I mean, not the royal we, but 
as artist, Caput Mortum. Oh my goodness, that is, oh, that is so pretty on the palette. <gasps> oh my God, wow. Wow, that is, wow. That is so beautiful. Um, Caput Mortum is one of my favourite colours, I have to say. I, For some reason, it was out of my palette for quite a long time. And then I, I, I remembered it. I remember that. I used to love it so much. And I reintroduced it. And I'm, I'm almost uh, wondering why I took it out of my palette at all. It is such a beautiful colour but this is gorgeous this is absolutely gorgeous oh my goodness oh my goodness that is so beautiful i'm so sorry i'm becoming too excited here that is beautiful and that mixing with that that i that would be a dream okay Sorry, <laughs> a little outburst of enthusiasm there. Um, next, I have Payne's Grey, which is going to be my last colour. I wish it wasn't because now I want to swatch all their colours. Um, it's looking good on the palette. See what it does on paper. That, that I mean, those two. I'm, 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 I'm in awe, and that's really beautiful, all of them, but that, I'm sorry, losing my words here. Oh, that's nice. That is beautiful. I really wanted to um, replace my indigo with a dark, very, very, very dark blue for mixing purposes. And also I love the colour. And uh, indigo is not, as far as I, I know, not very light fast. But this has a very good light fast rating. Oh, that is so pretty, that grey. Now I want to buy all their colours. Look at that. I want to try them all. Because we have some very um, common names like Hooker's Green, for instance, and Caput Mortum, and um, Ultramarine Blue, Ultramarine Green, for instance. And these stand out as almost different colours. I mean, look at that. I am completely in love with that. That is dry. This, I have no words for. That is just beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. That ultramarine. That delicate granulation. That's so beautiful. I mean, all of them are beautiful, but um, I think these stand out, and this is, yeah, this is beautiful as well. I am in love, I think. I'm, okay, I'll have to let them dry a little bit and come back to them. I'll just put these on one side. I'll let them dry and I'll come back and talk about them a little bit more. Okay, so I think they have dried and I just wanted to say a few final words on these because I, I love them. 
I um, I really really love them. Now, the Naples. I'll, I'll take each colour and talk about it very very quickly. Um, the Naples Yellow Light is not what I expected. I expected it to be creamier. Your your regular Naples Naples Yellow, if you know, it's like a pastel yellow. But this is really vibrant. But it has the versatility of being also a very soft, soft yellow. Um, Scarlet Lake is is a very pretty. I'd say middle, middle red, middle leaning towards warm. And I would love to see, try and mix that. The mineral blue is a beautiful, cool blue. And a very, that looks like a sky, sky colour here in, um, in the mountains in spring. That would be the colour of the, of the sky. The ultramarine is beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful ultramarines I've seen, I think. It leans towards um, violet, which is, for my purposes, it's perfect because I like um, mixing like nice, beautiful, soft violets with ultramarine. And this is, this is beautiful. And you, you can see that granulation. It's very delicate, but it's very pretty. The ultramarine green is very beautiful as well. Um, I can't see a lot of granulation, but that might be due to my own fault. I don't think it's granulated very well. Though I can see, like in the deep, in the deeper valleys of the paper, like a ultramarine. I can see a little bit of blue in there, here, where it's settled. And you can see it here as well. The hooker's green. <laughs> I am blown away. That is amazing. It hasn't lost any, any vi vibrance, any, <laughs> it hasn't lost any of its richness. That's the word I was looking for. Um, it's beautiful. I, I don't think I own a colour like that. That is, that is gorgeous. It is so rich. The earth green is a greyish green. You can see it here that it's um it, it leans to a duller, more natural green, um, which is very pretty as well. The dragon's blood is charming, it's it's very beautiful. The bird sienna now, I also, as I said, I'm used to orange, more orange leaning burnt siennas, but this looks so much more natural. And I would be interested in mixing it in the same way I would mix my other burnt siennas and see what happens with other colours. For instance, burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. Burnt umber is warmer. Than I would, uh, than I'm, that I'm used to again, but it's also very neutral brown, which I can see um, if you're, if you're painting landscapes and um, nature would be really handy. The Caput Mortum is another one that blew me away. That is just gorgeous. It's a plum, a very deep plum colour, like, um, well, it's a very deep purple plum colour, it's so pretty, very beautiful. And the Payne's grey now that it's dried, you can see the separation, it's almost like a night sky, you can see like there's light blue and darker hues on the top. And the lighter hues, I think, I think I can see like almost a uh, turquoisey blue in there. I think. I, I love them. 
and may I just add that I have not been paid. <laughs> I have not been paid to say any of this. This is my uh, honest opinion. And I know it's my personal opinion because for each artist, um, different colors speak in different ways. Um, but these, these speak to me. These make me want to um, finish the video, get out my watercolor paper and start painting. They're, they're very inspirational. Um, about purchasing these, purchasing these, you can purchase them on the Zeki site, which I will link below. This is not an affiliate link, by the way. Um, and they sell also other artist materials like um, artist pigments, um, oil colors, um, oil paints, um, and lots of other things like brushes, I believe. I think they sell handmade paper. So you might want to go by and have a look and yeah i i would love to swatch more of their colors they're, they're just gorgeous anyway <laughs> i'll leave you here say a huge huge thank you for uh, for sitting here with me and spending time with me while i swatch these beautiful handmade colors um and I really, really hope I will see you soon with possibly another unboxing because I am waiting for some other things I purchased during the Black Friday period. So I'll see you very, very soon. Um, keep safe, keep healthy, um, keep creative and thank you so much. Oh, by the way, <laughs> if you like this video, please like. If you uh, like, hit the like button. If you um, would like to see more videos from me, please subscribe and hit the notification button, please. And um, also, if you try these paints or if you have thoughts on these paints, please share below because I love reading your comments. Okay, now I say bye. Bye, everyone, and um, I'll see you very soon. Bye, bye.